So I was on Twitter a few days ago and I came across something that, I mean, it's almost hard to believe that this is real. I mean, when you see the description of, of the official Karen mask, you're just going to be at a loss for words. I mean, I hope by some miracle that this is just a parody and it's not a real product, but I looked up the company this was posted by and it's a real beauty salon and they have invented the Karen mask. And I mean, the, the Karen mask is truly a sight to see here. I mean, the Karen mask is just groundbreaking technology. There's been two massive leaps in mankind. One of them was putting a man on the moon. The second one was inventing the Karen mask. It's just truly a revolutionary product. It's kind of like the invention of the wheel. It's just gonna kind of shape the rest of human history, if you ask me. So we're gonna take a look at their description of the mask here in a second, and I guess their marketing pitch. But first off, here is what the Karen mask looks like. And they definitely understand their target demographic here because the model of the, of the Karen mask here is without a doubt a Karen, a Facebook mom. She speaks to multiple managers a week. You know, if she walks into a local coffee shop, she is not leaving without speaking to the manager. So they really just nailed that one down. Now here's a post about these masks from the company that sells them, which says, guys, a new shipment of masks has arrived. Beautiful and super comfortable, allows breath much easier in addition to the delicacy and femininity that this tool mask brings to the female face. Now, I feel like I really shouldn't have to break this down for like grown adults with a wife and kids, but if a mask allows you to breathe much easier, that's most likely, correct me if I'm wrong here, but that's most likely not a good thing. That probably means that the mask is not doing its job whatsoever. I mean, I don't think it's the most unreasonable statement in the world to say that this mask wouldn't be the same as, you know, wearing an N95 mask. I really hope this doesn't become like a popular thing because I feel like the Karens found a loophole here because they're making it mandatory pretty much everywhere now that you have to wear a mask to go inside grocery stores, to go pretty much anywhere inside. And now all the Karens can just throw this thing on and say, you know, well, I'm wearing a mask when it's the most ineffective thing in the world. You might as well be holding a, a tennis racket in front of your face. Now with that being said, we also have a video we're gonna look at here where this woman, this anti-masker here, she found a loophole in the system here. She is also using an extremely ineffective material to make a mask out of. And I mean, this video here is almost just hard to watch. And this video also makes you completely understand why the US is leading in coronavirus cases right now because you have people like this going around saying how they don't believe in wearing masks as if it's like a religion. Are you gonna do that? I'm gonna make masks. I'm gonna make masks out of this. The lady at the store was like, What are you making? And I'm like, It's probably better you don't ask. And then she was like, This little lady. And she's like, No, really, like, this is all pretty fabric. What are you gonna do with it? And I'm like, I'm making masks. And she started laughing. She goes, Are you serious? And I go, Yeah, I really am. I go, there's no, no specifications on what we're supposed to make, what they're supposed to be. We just have to have stupid stuff on our face. And she, and I go, and I just think it's kind of a load of shit. And I go, I better shut up. And she started laughing and she goes, you're not the only one that feels that way. So first off, the reason that the woman started laughing in your face the moment you said you were making masks out of that is because it's probably the dumbest idea anyone has ever heard. I mean, legitimately, think about how stupid you are going to look walking around the local grocery store with that on your face. You might as well stop at Party City and get a clown nose too while you're at it. Now, I guess the biggest elephant in the room here really is why is she trying to, I guess, bend the rules or find loopholes around the mask mandates that are being made right now to try to save people's lives. It's not just some like silly thing they're doing for fun. And she's trying to bend the rules and find ways around it and find ways to keep herself in harm's way. It's it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like I said, after seeing the Karen mask and after seeing that TikTok video there, it is no mystery why the US is leading in 
cases. When you have people running around trying to find the thinnest fabrics possible to make masks with, I mean, there's like, there's no hope at that point. Now they're gonna have to start specifying the thickness that your mask has to be for idiots like this. You know, anytime you try to walk into a grocery store, there's gonna be a dude sitting there with a measuring tape measuring the thickness of your mask. Is, is that really what's gonna start happening here because of these Karens? Anyway, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.